Hey, what's up, guys? Sports Dude here, and I'm bringing you guys some MLB 14 to show Houston Astros franchise here. Episode, uh, I believe, number five, and you can see here, guys, I'm signing Carlos Pena to a contract here. So I wanted a power hitter, and uh, coming in my lineup here, I really wanted to see if I get some more power on this team. And Carlos Pena is a veteran, 35 years of age. He's at 67 overall with C potential. I just pretty much want him just to fill a gap for us. And I'm going to actually release Jesus Guzman because he didn't really have the greatest of seasons so far. But uh, we'll see what Carlos Pena can do here. But uh, here we are, Houston Astros versus the Seattle Mariners. We're actually better than the Mariners. We're 9-11 and the Mariners are 7-13. But it's going to be a great pitching matchup this evening. It's going to be Jared Cozart versus Felix Hernandez. It's going to be a phenomenal matchup. Here's starting lineup. Followed Altuve, Carter, Springer, Pena, Villar, Torres, Gu Grossman, and Corporan. And there's Felix Hernandez, 2-2, 2-2 two, two, two two in the year with 2.73 ERA, 27 strikeouts to go along with that. So Jackson follows up now, 1-2 count, and it's going to be a pitch lined into right field, but it's going to be an out. So nice hard hit ball though by Dexter Fowler, but unfortunately it results in out number one. Now Altuve up, a 1-0 count, and Altuve is going to hit the ball right past the third baseman, Kyle Seager, and Altuve is on with a single to see if we can get anything going on here in the first inning. So that brings up Chris Carter up, uh, up now. 1-0 counts, 1-out. And here comes Carter. The pitch is going to be grounded to the second baseman, Cano, who flips on to Miller and throws on to Smoke for the final out. So that's a double play there. Ends the inning. And let's go to the bottom half here. There's the uh, Mariners starting lineup there. Headlined basically by Robinson Cano. Actually, he's batting 244 in the year. And their best batter is number one uh, guy here, Willie Bloomquist. And he is up here with an 0-2 count. Cozart is going to strike him out on the curveball. Nice 12-6 curve there for our number one. Now next up here, Cozart is going to hit, uh, get him to ground out right to Jose Altuve. And that will be out number two here. So good start for Cozart so far. Here comes Robinson Cano, 0-2 count, two outs. And that's a change up, freezing Cano. And a nice 1-2-3 inning for Cozart leading um, the Astros there. So now top of the third inning, 0-1 count, two outs. Fowler up again now. And he's going to hit a single past uh, Miller there. And it's going to be into left field for Fowler there. So let's see if we can get anything going here. Altuve is up now with two outs. And let's see what we can do. Altuve looking. And here comes the pitch. It's going to be lined into right field. Could it be out of here? No, it's going to be bouncing. And it's going to go into the stands there for a ground rule double. So it just barely hugged the, hugged the line there, and it almost could have gotten out if we had a little oomph on that one. But doesn't matter now. We got second and third for Chris Carter. Two out count and two outs. And Carter's going to take this one into left field. And it's going to be in there. The off pass, a diving center fielder, Willie Bloomquist. One run's going to score, and the second one is following him. And that is a two-run double by Chris Carter. And that's going to work out to our favor. Nice job there, Chris Carter. But as you can see, 2-2 counts here for Springer. See if we can get some more runs on the board. Two outs. But he's going to strike out swing on the 95 miles per hour fastball there to end the inning. So once again, now goes on the hill. It's going to be lined into right field. I really don't know who that uh, player is. I actually forgot right now. But unfortunately, I think Tant is th thanks to the stupid animation in the center field, Dexter Fowler is going to basically give up a nice triple all the way going there. So I don't like that animation a lot, but... Eric Cano is up now, and he's going to drill this one into center field long enough for the runner to tag up, and he's going to go home here. The throw on home is, of course, not even close, and the Mariners are on the board now. It's now 2-1, to one, and they just have uh, one more run, and they will tie this ball game up. But here comes, I believe that's, I don't really know who that is, but he's going to ground out his shortstop to end the inning. So let's go. Uh, that's a nice play there, and let's see what we can do here again. Um, yeah, I really don't know who this guy is. I forgot his name. I don't really know, but he's hitting the ball pretty well. Hits another single into the left field here in front of Grossman there, picking up another single for the Mariners. Just trying to see if they can get some more runs on the board. So here comes Cano again, and now he is going to, um, hit the ball right, but, whoa, wait a minute. It's controversy here. He had the ground ball, but I don't know. Was he out at second base? Apparently, he called him out, as you'll see in the replay. The Mariners' uh, manager's out to argue, and he was saying it was not on the yeah, it was on the transfer. Uh, apparently, that was almost an out. I think, I don't have no idea what really happened there. 
But uh, Jonathan, Jonathan VR and the ground ball had the transfer. He transferred it and he bobbled it. And I believe his foot was on the bag though. So that was a beauty and out. So yes, it was. But later here, the shift pays off for the Mariners. As I have no idea what I was seriously was doing with Springer here. I think it was like some kind of glitch or something. It was going right past the ball. No idea, but it's going to result in a run. And now we're all tied up now at two apiece. So unfortunately, that did not turn out exactly what I wanted to do there at all. But later here, you can see the Mariners drive in the run here. Fowler's going to fire on home, but the throw is not on time. It's also offline, and now the Mariners are up 3-2. to two. They have the lead in their favor as we're going to um, send up a guy in the bullpen here. And we are going to enter Brad Peacock. He was uh, recalled from AAA. AAA um, there, so we'll see if we can uh, give us some depth in the bullpen. It's just not something we've had great so far. Jen uh, Jared Kozart at leaves. He's uh, kind of roughed up there a little bit, and he's still trying to earn his first win, but it's probably not going to be coming in this game here. So we'll see if the bullpen can maybe get us a victory here. Peacock is coming in. Six games in the season, 3.38 ERA in the eight innings he's pitched, along with one walk and four punchouts. So again, your 1-0 count. This is going to be another single for the Mariners, resulting now in a first and second opportunity, and they are really rallying here in this inning. But again, now Brad Miller up, first and second, two outs. or Now it's going to be two outs, 2-0 two count, I meant. And now it's two outs, as you can see, an easy pop fly right to Jose Altuve, and that is the second out. But let's see if we can retire the side here. Coming up, Corey Hart, 1-2 count. And he's going to strike him out. It's actually John Buck correction. And he's going to strike him out for the final out of the inning. So later here, Carlos Pena is going to have a deep drive to right field. And it's way out of here. Carlos Pena doing exactly what I wanted him to do. Use his power. And so we can give an extra power bat. So we can have some, you know, more runs. Generating more runs. And that's what we need in this lineup is definitely power. And Carlos Pena does provide it with a nice home run here. So he a very nice home run there by Jose uh, Carlos Pena, resulting now in a three to three ball game. So now Jonathan Villar is up no 0-2 count for Hernandez here. He deals, and now the pitch is going to be lined into right field for a base hit. And we're gonna see if we can maybe uh, give the score back in our favor here, four to three. But first, that's gonna spell the day there for Felix Hernandez. He will leave. Gave up three earned runs. Not the greatest performance for Felix Hernandez, but he's going to be out a little early here. As Tom Williamson is going to come in now, and let's see if he can do his job here. He actually drops his glove and then picks it back up. But as you can see, we're going to steal VR, the VR, and he's going to be gunned down for the out there. So not exactly what I wanted to do. John Buck nails him. The 0-2 count later. Robbie Grossman is going to strike out swinging, and Buck will fire on the first base for the drop third strike out there for the out there. So... Here's the replay of Carlos Pena's nice home run here. Absolutely crushes this one. So we're all tied up three apiece, and let's see if the Astros can pull away with a victory. Alrighty. Here it comes now again. We still have Peacock, Peacock in the game, but this is something I did not want to happen. Look at this. I have no idea. Springer, probably the worst defensive game he's ever had, and of course the animation hurts me again, and it's going to be a triple all the way for, I believe that's Willie Bloomquist. Getting a triple to lead off the inning. So that te that tears it for um, for Peacock. It's going Raul Val uh, Valdez now. 0-1 count, one out. And it's going to be a squeeze play. you got to be kidding me. A squeeze play. And they score the run. Dustin Ackley with the squeeze. That was the guy I was talking about the whole game. <laughs> I did not, did not remember. But now Dustin Ackley does provide a big squeeze play now. So it's now 4-3. Cano is up. Two outs. And this will be an easy ground ball right to the shortstop there, Jonathan VR, who fires on the first for the out. So here comes Joe Bimel now in the eighth inning, 13.50 ERA, not the greatest in his three games so far, but 0-2 count to Jose Altuve here, two outs, and the pitch is going to be a strikeout here. As you can see, he gets him on the curveball, fire on the first base, and that is the out. So now we go to the ninth inning. Make it break time with Fernando Rodney on the hill. And Carr's car is going to meet him here with a ground ball right to Brad Miller. And fires on a first base for out number one. We need to get something going here if we need, if we want to get the victory. Springer up now. He's one for three with a single back in the second inning. And he's got the 0-1 count with one out. Fernando for Rodney deals. It's going to be a deep fly ball into right field. Could this one be gone? But no, it's going to hang up there right in time for the right fielder there. Retiring Springer. The second out of the inning. 
So Carper our last chance. The pitch is going to be hit right into the shift. And Ackley fires on the first base. And that is the game. The Mariners get the victory 4-3 to over the Astros with that squeeze play. Turning out to be the game-winning run and back in the um, eighth inning there. So what a game there. We played pretty good. Um, but we, unfortunately, the bullpen kind of lost it there. Peacock did well. But the offense did not really provide against us. Felix Hernandez did pretty well. But they're also their bullpen did shut us down with Williamson, Bimal, and uh, really basically, yeah, Williamson, Bimal, and um, uh, Fernando Aranda. He really just kind of took us down and just beat us up there. So they have a good back end in their bullpen, and they beat us there. Williamson gets the victory. Peacock loses it while giving up that one run run with also the two hits as well. Here's a stat line. Basically, good day all around from us. Cozart, he had a nice solid start, only three earned runs. Usually that can get us a lot of victories, but unfortunately, no. And then their bullpen just pretty much shut us down there to get the victory. But as you can see, I'm, I'm putting Josh Fields up here now. I want to bring him up now, and I'm going to send down Brad Peacock to figure some things out in AAA. Um, as you can see here, this is something I did not want to happen. Carlos Pena has sustained, sustained a torn ACL, and he's out for over six months. Basically, it means he's probably going to have to retire. So that's not going to be something I really want to hear there. But there goes <laughs> Carlos Pena. We signed Jesus, uh, Jesus Guzman again. But the next episode, guys, will be against the Washington Nationals. Jordan Zimmerman and Brett Oberholzer on the mound. Thanks for watching, guys. Leave a like, enjoy, subscribe to my channel. Have a great day. I'll see you later.